introduce our work, learning a product relevance model from click through data in e-commerce. This work is done with our summer intern Shao Wei Yao from Peking University and also other colleagues from Alibaba Group and Peking University. First is the background of this work. This work started the task of product relevance for our e-commerce search engine Taobao. The task needs a relevance model to measure whether a product P is relevant to a query Q. So we can decide whether a product can be displayed under a query and filter irrelevant products to guarantee the user experience. The relevance task is treated as a classification problem. In this work, we only consider the title of products. The challenge of this task includes query and the products are short text and they suffer from severe vocabulary gap between the user informal query and the seller professional product title. Also, Taobao has billions of queries and products every day. It requires the model to have large capacity. Changing data is important, but is one biggest challenge for this task. Moreover, for online serving, high efficiency is required that we cannot use complicated models like interaction-based ones. Therefore, Previous solution mostly adopts representation-based semantic matching models like the SSM. For billions of queries and products to deal with, it is impossible to train the model with only human-labeled samples. Therefore, a way to use cheap and abandoned training data is necessary. Previous work usually used click-through data, like the CTR prediction task. But click is a weak signal for relevance and how to train the relevance model from click-through data is one most important problem for this study. Include the construction of data for training and the design of training objective. So now I start to introduce our method. Our model is an improvement of DSSM-like model that query and the products are, will be encoded separately to produce vector representations. And the relevance score is computed based on the query and the product vector. In order to improve the representation ability of the model, we propose multi-aspect data interaction and that computes the interaction of multiple queries and multiple product vectors. The interaction includes summation, subtraction, concatenation, and then fed to MLP. The multi aspect vectors are produced by self attention with convolution using multiple kernels. This model is called MASM for short. The first major contribution of this work is how we construct training samples in order to train the relevance model from the weak signal of click-through data. If the model is trained from the click data with binary labels, the positive samples usually use the clicked products and the query. But the first problem is the exposure and the position bias, and some relevant products may not have click due to exposure times or position. Another problem is click is noisy and irrelevant products can also be clicked because of attracting titles or pictures, price and other reasons. If we use both products as the positive, they will be more accurate, but buy is much more sparse and unbought also doesn't mean irrelevant. A more important problem is the negative samples. If you use the unclicked products, in fact, they are mostly relevant. If we use random samples of products as negative, they are too easy and the model will easily converge, but performs better when faced with online difficult negatives. Previous works found that pairwise loss performs better than pointwise because pairwise training learns the comparison of one product is better than another one. 
is that of absolute relevance or not from the noisy weak labels. But in our practice, we found the pairwise training is sensitive to the data distribution, not stable even when training is only different random initializations. To address these problems, we propose to consider the relevance of different samples in more fine grand neuronality. We differ differentiate the training samples to file grades according to their confidence of relevance and propose a level-wise relevance data set. The idea of the fine grained data set is although clicks does not reflect does not represent relevance. The statistical CTR information can reflect the relevance. We believe samples with higher CTR are most relevant, while samples with lower CTR are, may have problem in relevance. Therefore, we take the click samples with the top 20% CTR as the strong relevant sample and the two 20% CTR with the, as the weak relevant samples. The left are treated as ordinary relevant samples. Here, the CTR is calibrated to remove the influence of position bias. The position bias is estimated from a random online experiment and is realized here. As for the negative samples, the most straightforward is random sample the negatives as strong irrelevant. But random negatives are too easy. When applied online, the relevance model will face samples more or less relevant. The random negatives do not help much to distinguish these hard negative samples. To address this problem, we introduce more difficult samples and we name as weak irrelevant. The weak irrelevant samples are generated with the help of query writing model. A query writing model aims to generate candidates for a query with the same intent. But we can take the candidates of low confidence. This low confidence usually changes the intent of original query. For example, here, the original query is red dress, and the low confidence rewritten query is yellow dress. The, the product clicked under the yellow drive will mostly be irrelevant to the original red drive query. The samples constructed in this way are quite similar to real online difficulty negatives. Having the fine relevance data set, another major contribution of this work is we propose a new training objective to learn from the fangrin data set. The, pr the proposed training objective is a pointwise loss. For each type of training data, we design a target threshold for this type. The more relevant the threshold is higher and vice versa. For positive samples, we hope the model's predicted scores are higher than the threshold. For example, Strong relevant samples higher than the threshold 0.9. And for negative samples, we hope the model predicts scores lower than the threshold. Like strong irrelevant samples, the scores should be lower than 0.1. Therefore, the loss function is designed to realize this setting. The loss has the advantage that it can learn the comparison of two types of data in a pointwise fashion. This means it can have the advantage of pairwise training while also keep the advantage of pointwise learning. Moreover, the proposed loss is a soft loss and no penalization is applied when the positive samples are higher than threshold. So different from traditional pointwise loss that learns a hard label, this soft loss allows the model to be robust to the noisy training data and can learn reasonable scores from extremely large amount of training data. 
We have a constructed data set with 6 billion samples. For this weak labeled data, we can already train a model with good results, but the model can be further improved by providing human labeled data. For fine tuning with human labeled data, we will apply an MSE loss and early stopping strategy. Next, I will introduce the experiments. We compare our model with DSSN and the uh, same is BERT model as a strong baseline. We also tried a different training with our same model architecture. The different training includes directly train with human labeled data or in traditional way that uses click and a positive and unclick as negative samples with a pairwise loss. We will adopt two AOC metrics for evaluation with 200,000 labeled samples for test. Results show that with, without human labeled data for fine tuning, our model already outperformed the strong baselines for more than five points of AOC score. We also compare with another e-commerce relevance data set used in previous paper. The paper proposed the co-training framework for the e-commerce relevance task, and the co-train is the previous state of the art. The co-train method also explored using weak supervision to train a good e-commerce relevance model. And we have another baseline uses DM25 as the weak relevance signal. Our model can outperform Cochrane by about three points AOC scores. Here we present a study to remove each type of constructed training data from the data site. It is natural to expect all the five types of data contribute to the overall performance. But to our surprise, removing each type of positive data, the model will not drop much at about one to two points of AOC drop. Among the three, strong relevant is the most significant type. Since removing each type of relevant data will significantly change the data distribution, this supports our model is quite robust. When removing the negative samples, the results will be much worse. Even the random samples there will be three points AOC drop. Most important is the weak irrelevant. Without this type of training data, the AOC scores will suffer from 10 points decrease. This type of negative samples is also what we want the relevant model to filter online. So it is indeed important to this task. Finally, for conclusion of this work, we deal with the e-commerce relevance task and propose the Siamis architecture model with multi aspect related interaction to improve model capacity and keep online efficiency. The most contribution of this work is the proposed a fine green data site for training a relevance model from the cheap and abandoned click through data. We distinguish the difference, the different relevance samples according to their confidence of relevance and in, incorporate different negative samples, incorporate difficult negative samples by query rewriting. We also propose a new training objective to leverage the proposed data sites which is a pointwise loss that can have the advantage of both pointwise and pairwise training. Besides offline evaluation improvements, we also conduct online A-B testing. Both human evaluation and GMA are improved. The model is both online effective and efficient. So this is the end. Thanks for watching.